fearful and in discomfort. Mrs. Rita Deseu has come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations with a problem of severe neuropathic pain in her neck. This is the medical report explaining the severity of the problem. She is using a neck collar to stabilize her neck. All the way from England, she came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, believing that Jesus Christ will put an end to her problem. Let's hear from her. My name is Mrs. Rita Desau. I'm 56. I'm coming from England. Of course, stiff neck due to severe neuropathic pain radiating to the arms and my back uh, and also in my neck. I'm using neck color and it's even not doing anything at all. I've, I've also got shoulder pain and the limb, left limb, I'm losing the use of the limb. So I'm losing the, le the use of my left limb. I can't look up. I can't lie down. I can't sit for long. I can't stand. Can can't really get comfortable at all. It's radiating to the arm. Very, very severe. I went to England. They did scan. They did x-ray. They did everything. And they said, it's a trap nerve. It's a neuropathic problem. I'm a nurse. I can't do my work. I can't go to work. I've tried at all painkillers. It's not even touching the pain at all. I flew from England to Synagogue Church of All Nations in search of solution. And I believe strongly that Jesus will heal me. And we pray God Almighty will use his servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua, to set you free from all these problems. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I have a stiff neck, neuropathic pain that affects my use of the arm. Uh. Alors que le prophète prie dans la puissance du nom de Jésus-Christ. Son nom à l'esprit brise de chaîne. Regardez cette femme. Et en nom de Dieu, je suis orando dans le nom de l'Esprit Saint pour cette femme qui est venue un problème de cuello rigide. Tu as ta main pour le mouvement. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Ok. Le mouvement. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We can see Rita is here today walking freely for the glory of God. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. She had severe neuropathic pain. She was using a neck collar, a very painful situation, and she's here today to testify for the glory of God. So you're very welcome here in Jesus' name. Please introduce yourself to us, uh, your name, where you're from, and the problem that brought you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations last week. Emmanuel, good morning. My name is Rita Desewu. I'm 56, and I'm coming from England. Last week, I was here with Stiff Neck, using the Tavika color, which uh, was due to neuropathic pain, radiating to the left arm. I couldn't use my left arm. I couldn't grip. 
So you mean the problem that brought you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations was a stiff neck due to severe neuropathic pain, is that right? Yes. All right, tell well, us, how did that problem affect your, your life? Well, it was a sudden onset, and uh, I was taken to the hospital in England, Leicester Royal Infirmary. They did a scan, they did x-ray, and they couldn't find anything. Um, they end up uh, diagnosing a neuropathic pain, a trapped nerve which was so severe that even morphine, IV, could not touch it. So, um, being a nurse, I know what it is. Uh, the treatment line is, you only be given uh, an... So I quickly ran to Synagogue Church of All Nations. I and couldn't tell us work. what happened when Prophet T.B. Joshua prayed for you in the course of the service last week. What was your experience? Um, when I came, I had the opportunity to uh, be, be on the prayer line. And the prophet prayed for me immediately. If you see, I just flipped the neck collar off, threw it somewhere. I was, I was healed immediately. I could use my hand now. In fact, from there, straight away, I went to, I went to the restaurant to try my hand on cutlery to see if I would be able to use the cutlery. And that was good. No pain. And as you can see me now, I'm very free. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ, the master healer. And now can you demonstrate for us what you can now do that you could not do before? Well, when I came, I, uh, my hand was up with pain, nerve pain. You try to adjust to see where you can uh, uh, be comfortable. So my hand was always on top of my head and uh, the people were saying, Madam, put your hand down. I said, you don't know what is happening. All along, my hand was up all the time. But now, it can go down, up, down, up, down. And I can grip. 
I can grip anything. I can hold the cutlery. And in fact, the joy of it, I have a new car and I wouldn't be able to drive it then. So now I can go back and drive my car. And so, you know, you're not using the neck collar anymore. Let's see how you demonstrate. No, I'm not using neck collar. And I can look up, I can look down. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Okay, so uh, just walk up and down and, you know, exercise, move freely. Yes, you can see me now. No more crying. No more uh, feeling uncomfortable. In fact, yeah. To God be the glory. She had a stiff neck due to severe neuropathic pain. And the pain was so severe that uh, she wanted to take away her life. But after receiving an encounter from Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit, she is restored today. And just tell us, what is your advice for viewers around the world that were facing a similar situation that you're in? What would be your advice for them? Well, before my advice, I will thank the man of God for what he has done for me through our Lord Jesus Christ. And um, my advice is, when people buy a car, like Toyota or any other car, and it breaks down, you take it to a Toyota repairer, you don't take it to a Mercedes repairer. So, if you're a human being and you break down, you go to the maker. Jesus Christ, and it makes you better. To God be the glory. We thank God Almighty for this incredible healing, and the healing you have received is for salvation of your soul, so you can continue to follow him for the rest of your life to, to, to the kingdom of God, and we want to encourage you. The best is yet to come for your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Téléspectateurs, nous venons d'entendre le témoignage merveilleux de cette femme qui lui vient du Royaume-Uni. Elle dit qu'elle est infirmière de profession. Elle a souffert pendant très longtemps d'une maladie très handicapante qui est une neuropathie qui affectait ses nerfs. Donc ses mouvements étaient affectés, elle était constamment hospitalisée, les douleurs étaient insoutenables. Elle prenait tout le temps des antidouleurs comme la morphine et les médecins n'avaient trouvé aucune autre solution que de lui prescrire le port quasi permanent du minerve pour soutenir son cou. Lorsque la peine était devenue si terrible, elle a décidé, conseillée par ses enfants, de venir dans l'arène de la liberté. Elle a dit dès l'aéroport, on ne voulait pas la laisser embarquer, vu sa condition très sévère. Mais elle est entrée dans l'avion par la grâce de Dieu, et les douleurs étaient tellement terribles qu'une femme étrangère lui a donné des pilules qu'elle a prises pour soulager sa douleur. Mais lorsqu'elle est venue ici, l'homme de Dieu a prié pour elle dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit. Et cette souffrance, cette agonie de cette maladie a disparu instantanément. Elle est libre, libérée, restaurée par Jésus-Christ, le vivant. Et maintenant, vous la voyez s'exercer, marcher librement, soulever ses bras et pouvoir reprendre, retourner chez elle et reprendre sa profession. Et elle peut maintenant conduire sa voiture, ce qu'elle était incapable de faire avant. Le conseil qu'elle donne, que si votre voiture est en panne, vous l'amenez vers le mécanicien. Alors, si vous êtes malade, allez vers le médecin, Jésus-Christ, le guérisseur. Tel est le conseil qu'elle donne. Espectador, compensamos con la sección de testimonios aquí en la sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones. Acabamos de escuchar a esta mujer que nos visita desde Inglaterra con un increíble testimonio de sanidad. Ella visitó la sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones el domingo pasado con el problema de cuello rígido ya por varios años. Ella nos comenta de que esto había causado en ella dificultad para poder realizar sus actividades cotidianas, afectó su profesión y también su vida. A causa de esta enfermedad que tenía, ella no podía levantar su brazo y ella no podía a mover su cuello con normalidad. Necesitaba la ayuda de sus hijos y la ayuda de personas que la conocían para poder realizar sus actividades diarias. Hasta el momento de que ella visitó la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones y recibió el toque de profeta TV Joshua el domingo pasado. Como vemos en pantalla, ella recibió su sanidad instantáneamente, se removió el collarín y comenzó a mover su cuerpo para la gloria de Jesucristo. Ella le da la gloria a Dios por este milagro. Continuamos. Once again.